All righty. Hey folks, winter trout fishing. We're gonna be doing some rainbow fishing with a couple of buddies from Ottawa. Got Mark Fuller here, and uh, way over there is Paul Shibata. And these guys, man, you guys got some good trout fishing here in central Ontario. Oh, nice one. All right. Good rainbow. Great looking trout. Wow. Glad you can join us. Good Cheers. Trout. Coming up. It doesn't matter what time of the year it is, Bob is always out on the water fishing. It's the middle of the winter in central Ontario. And Bob teams up with good friends Mark Fuller and Paul Shibata. The boys are getting off the beaten path as they travel in the snow bear to access a remote small lake and use gulp alive minnows to jig up some rainbow trout. Then, later on in the show, it's an adventure as they go even further back into the woods to another lake. In addition to jigging, they set up some tip-ups in a shallow bay in hopes of catching a few beautiful brook trout. First brookie of the day, guys. Oh, here we go. Hello. <laughs> oh, yeah. Get ready, get ready. Here it comes. Whoa, oh, he's got it. <laughs> oh, man. That is a big rainbow. Oh, yeah. That thing is a monster. Look at that big laker. Look at the size of this fish. The Real Fishing Show with Bob Izumi. <laughs> Whoa, he's a jumper. That is awesome, girl. Look at that. Yeah. Woo, hook up, boys. Whoa, all right. Here, here he comes, here he comes. Oh, oh no. Oh, that's a nice one. All right, look at that. Hey, right. <laughs> Fishing is sponsored by Mercury, number one on the water, and Tim Hortons. That's what I call real fishing. Ice fishing has gotten a lot easier since I've been running a snow bear. It doesn't matter how far we travel or how cold it gets outside, these machines will certainly spoil you. Once we got to the lake, we got the holes drilled and in no time we were hooked up. All right. All righty, Mark, come on over. Well, you know what? Just some people can't wait, can they? Oh, nice rainbow. Nice rainbow. Look at that. Beautiful Beauty. fish, Paul. All righty. Good one gorgeous? to start the morning. Well, crack at noon. We're talking quarter to 12, boys. Quarter to 12? Leslie? Quarter to 12. Um, I'm here with Mark Fuller, Paul Shibata, a couple of friends from Ottawa, and uh, they brought me out to do a little winter trout fishing. Guys, what do you think? Isn't it gorgeous? Are we going to get a few today? I'll tell you Absolutely. what, I sure hope so. For sure. Well, I know Paul's got one We're anyway. We're off to a good start. We're off to a good start. I can see on that uh, Lorenz um, ice unit there, you can see the fish coming up there that he just caught. And he's going right back down again, right through the hole. All right. What do you use? Isn't a little gulp? Yeah, a little bit of gulp. Berkeley gulp, a two and a half inch gulp minnow in the packages. I mean, it's like better than live bait. Two and a half inch gulp minnow. Okay, I got a. A two inch jigging grub, I'm gonna start with gulp. And Excellent. you got some of the minnows. I'm gonna go with it and uh... Well, since he's already, you know, broke the ice, so to speak, we gotta get started. <laughs> Let's get started, All boy. Right. Excellent. Nice fish, Paul. All right, thank you. Great. I'm using the X67 uh Lorenz here, and you know. It's instant reading. So here, I'm going to show you. I'm going to jig my rod tip, and now you're going to see the jig fall back down. And you can see it, my jig going up and down. I've got the transducer down about a foot into the hole, so it's actually five feet plus deep here. You can just see that jigging up and down. It's amazing when you move your rod tip how much your jig actually moves. There we go. <laughs> All righty. First drop down. <laughs> you gotta love it. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. First drop. I saw him on the sonar come up. Look at that. I got some four pound test. How's that? Look at that go. Try lean on here. And I'll tell you, 
Life is good. All righty. Look oh, at the beautiful size of it. Wow, what a gorgeous fish. All righty. What a beautiful rainbow. Look at that. Wow. Nice. This is way too good, wow. boys. And look at that just pop right Isn't out. Isn't that gorgeous? No problem. Looky there. Oh, look at that. Look at the eggs coming out. Huh. Look at the eggs. Look That's at that. That's a gorgeous fish. That's beautiful. All right. Back you go, girl. Hi, girl. No problem. Wow. Gorgeous. Good Thank work. Nice fish. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. Good stuff. Well, beautiful. Are, you, are you gonna fish or just walk well, around? <laughs> I don't know. This is awful pleasing watching you guys go. That's great. That's way too cool. And you know, I'm just using a little tiny exchange jig. It's one of the new Lindy jigs where you can take the uh, the weight off. I'm not sure if you've seen these. The head pops off, oh, so you can put different colors and different weights on. Oh, how convenient! And. Uh, so you can change up quick. If we go deeper water, I can go to a bigger one. And uh, of course, a little two inch uh, gulp wow. grub on the back. But hey, that, so that, convenient. that's way too Saves good. on time. Yeah, I'm gonna drop that transducer down again. And uh, we're in only about five feet of water here. Yeah, now do you think, you think with the rainbows, it's an all day bite? I think uh, quite conceivably, especially on a day that's overcast like now, I've had great success. Uh, uh, middle of the day on rainbow. We were talking last night though about brook trout and we may do brook trout as well either today or tomorrow. Now do you think brook trout's an all day or more so low light? I think uh, brook trout and specifically it's, so, it's often uh, quite lake specific uh, where you get a lake that, that has a tendency for a morning or an evening bite or a particular time. Brook trout can be a little more finicky. They can be uh, you can get a tremendous bite with them and, and uh, then they can shut down and uh, you can't buy a fish. But uh, we're gonna go in and, and spend the day in there and uh, and find them. Well, I'll tell you what, this lake has got the rainbows. It's pretty cool. We're in central Ontario. There's thousands of lakes to try. I mean, I, I fish rainbows all over the place through the ice uh, across Canada. And I think you guys picked a winner today, boys. What do you think? I think we got it. Got Paul's over there crossing. pounding away. Uh, I mean, you got to get fishing. I know that was my ploy to keep them from fishing, but I think it's time to go now. Well, I, I like, to, I like to, to let the boys get a few in and, and oh, not... Oh, I see. Uh, give us a head start. Give them, give them a little bit of a head start. I, I'm pretty fast. Out of the I gotcha. He's so humble. Is that, his middle, is that his middle name? <laughs> <laughs> We've got more great backwoods fishing coming up. Yeah, look at that. What? Look at the color of that. Closed captioning is brought to you by BoaterExam.com. <laughs> Alrighty. too fat, I can't get my hand down the hole. Down the oh hole yeah, weather. what a pretty rainbow. That is just amazing. That's like the perfect color, isn't it, right there? Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah. Yeah, look at that. What? Look at the isn't color that of beautiful? that. Look at the color. Isn't that Yeah, And it's an overcast day and that thing still looks like it's yep. got a light on it, doesn't it? Just absolutely spectacular. Now, did that one thump it or was it a soft uh, hit? He gave it a, a soft, soft hit, but but uh, went pretty hard as soon as he set the hook. Yeah. Went pretty hard, but uh, but almost surprise you. They pick it up on the on the, the dead stick, mm -hmm. and, and don't really run with it right away until you let him know um, that he's hooked. Good stuff, Mark. That's what a awesome. beautiful fish. That is awesome. I just missed two over there, like within the last probably four minutes prior to you to hooking up, and that's just a, a little a gulp minnow. That's the two, two inch. Two and a half inch. Yeah, two, two and, and a half. half. Okay. Two and a half inch. Now we use the uh, the one that's slightly larger and it's the three inch minnow for drop shotting for bass, but I guess that's a trope bait too. Two and a half a trope bait too and, and there's no denying it today. We've uh, we've been really successful with that combination. And you've picked up a bunch of minnows. We haven't even used them yet. Maybe for the brook trout tomorrow, right? For the brook trout tomorrow, I think we're going to go in with uh, with all guns blazing. I don't think they'll uh, they'll be quite as cooperative, but uh, hey, we're talking some big brookies. But uh, let's keep fishing these rainbows, man. We got some time left. Fabulous. Thanks. All right.
Great ball. Oh man, we have had such a phenomenal day to, today, guys. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is a good one. Look at here, nice one. Probably wow. one of the bigger ones of the day. Wow, what beautiful. a dark what fish, a fish, eh? Look at there. All right. Isn't he gorgeous? Good stuff. Hi. Hey? Good fish. Beautiful. Good fish. Thank you very much. Beautiful. All righty. All right. Nice fish, Paul. Well, I, I must say, guys, it's been just an amazing day, both fish-wise, weather-wise, camaraderie. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, you know, these fish have cooperated. We've probably caught 15 fish or more all day today. Put him back down, Mark. Yeah. Here he goes. All right. Stay tuned as we travel even further back into the woods and overcome nature's obstacles in hopes of catching a few brook trout. First brookie of the day, guys. Let's take a look down under with this week's Fish Eye View, sponsored by Mercury, number one on the water. It's no secret the Great Lakes are home to a world-class fishery. This is due almost entirely to the introduction of West Coast salmonids, including steelhead. European brown trout also factor in. Each year, they run up rivers to spawn, often months in advance of the final act. It's a West Coast thing, where fish instinctively know they must travel hundreds of miles to spawning grounds. This retained behavior translates into a nearly year-round tributary fishery in the Great Lakes, where everyone is familiar with the fall and spring runs. Unknown to most is that salmon, steelhead, and brown trout are willing to move any time after the summer solstice in June. Days become shorter and the fish know it. All they need are proper conditions. Here is a famous Lake Ontario tributary in mid-July. This particular river hosts an annual summer run, while nearby flows rarely draw fish until September. Around the Great Lakes, there are other similar possibilities. Look for natural, spring-fed rivers that remain cool during heat waves. A good indicator is the presence of juvenile fish in the lower reaches. Then keep an eye on the weather. Rainfall, even a local thunderstorm, can put you into a midsummer run of big silver fish. Welcome back, and it's day two of our ice fishing adventure in central Ontario. We decided to go further back in the bush, but we ran into a few hiccups. I'm sure glad Mark and Paul were there to clear the path. These guys really do come prepared. We had an incredible amount of snow on the trail and then slush once we got on the ice. Finally, we got everything set up and began fishing. Okay, we got one running here. You got one there, Bob? Yeah. All right, first one of the day. All right. Oh yeah, feels good. Oh no! Yep, no, we got it, we got it. All right. All righty, guys. Come on, baby. Just set this polar uh, ice tip up. Yeah, those ice tip ups are great. We got speckles and the odd rainbow in this lake. Can you believe that, guys? Oh. We got one on and it's hung up down there. I think it's wrapped around it, so. Broke off. All right, here he comes. All right. Let's watch yourself, see. Paul. Watch yourself, watch yourself. Come on around behind me here. Oh, oh, yeah, nice one. All righty. First brookie of the day, guys. Yeah. Nice fish. Good stuff, guys. So, we just got set up, and I'll tell you what, it was an incredible adventure getting back in here. Look at that. Got Paul Shabata here. Mark Fuller, both from Ottawa, and uh, we came in on a warm February day, and what a beautiful fish, eh? Look nice at that. brook trout. Beautiful brook. Good way to start. That is awesome. All right, I guess they're gonna go. Well, boys, it Fabulous. was worth the trek in, wasn't it? Absolutely. Yeah, worth the trek in. 
Paul, give me that wet, slimy there hand. There you go. <laughs> the first of many. Yeah, I'll tell you what, it's uh, it's a real slushy day here on the uh, ice, so we didn't bring the snow bear out here, and uh, we did come in a long distance, so to get back into Very this impressive. lake. Very yeah. impressive, but the that's, distance it came. But oh, that's, it is. That's the key thing about so many of these lakes in central Ontario, is that if you're prepared to go off the beaten path, you can find, like there's hundreds of these type of lakes that you can go to. And uh, with a little bit of effort, you can catch some big fish. Well, you know, we already lost one, missed one on the, uh, the polar tip up. And so we've just sat up. It's um, late morning. It should be a lot of fun. The nice thing about today, though, is that with the overcast and the fog, speckles so often like that low light conditions, I, I have a feeling of bite all day, eh, Bob? I think so. I think we're going to do very well. <laughs> all right. All right. Let's, let's get on let's it. Let's go get another one. We'll be right back with more great backwoods fishing after this. All right. Look at that fish. This tip of the week is sponsored by Coleman. It's a beautiful morning out. In fact, it's a great day to go fishing. You know, I'm going through the boat here and I'm, I'm realizing that there are a lot of things that I do. Um, I guess I'm out here. I'm a bit of an attention to detail type guy. One of the things I'll do is go to the electronics stores and buy the Velcro uh, braided uh, wire covering. Now, I'll take it, cut it to length and put it around a lot of the straps on my boat tarps especially the straps that go around areas around your motor, some of the sharp edges, this will create chaffing, which will eventually wear those straps out. But with this Velcro uh, web strapping type material, it'll prevent them from chaffing, last longer. Another thing I like to do before I head out is to fill the tanks full of fuel. And what I'll do is I'll zero the gas gauge. Nowadays, with many of the Mercury and other motor manufacturers, they've got SmartCraft type of technology where you can zero your gauge. And so, you know, let's say in a boat like this, if it's say 52 gallons of fuel in the boat, you zero it. And then as you use your fuel throughout the day, you know exactly how much you have in the boat. Real handy. Another thing I like to do is take my electronics and I'll put them in either a soft carry bag or a soft cooler for storage so they don't get wrecked in transit. One other trick I always do no matter where I'm fishing is I'll take a Ziploc bag and take my cell phone. In fact, I've got a friend who I can't mention any names in Oklahoma who's dropped over probably a dozen cell phones into the water. Okay, I'll admit I'll, I've got one in the bottom of the St. Lawrence River too. And I'll take a Ziploc, I'll take my cell phone, my wallet, and I've got my little Optimus money clip here from my buddy Rick. Doesn't have as much money in it as used to. My kids have been thinning it out, but uh, I'll put that all in the Ziploc, seal it up, and I'll take it and I'll put it in the glove box of the boat or in a waterproof storage bag, duffel bag, either or, I'll store it away just in case we take some water over. Hey folks, just a few tips. Let's get back to some more real fishing. What a gorgeous fish. Swim back in the hole to swim another day. All right. Come on, let's just see a look. Oh, Holy. jeepers, creepers. Okay, it's a big rainbow. It's a okay. big rainbow. Watch. Oh, I'm coming right back, there. boy. Come on, come on. Jam your hand underneath it. Jam your hand underneath it. All right. Look at that fish. Look at that beautiful fish. Unbelievable. What'd you guys get? Big rainbow? Yeah, a beautiful big hen. Look at that, Bob. Sweet. What an awesome fish. Well done. That's Excellent. Yeah. I was all the way, about three quarters way up the hill towards the <laughs> snow bear. Good stuff. <laughs> oh, Money nice rainbow. Look. look at that Isn't fish. That Whoo! Look at yeah, that. that is. Huge. Right. You can take them. That's you awesome. Sure? Yeah. Look at that. Wow. Whew. Through the ice. Well, let's just hold them in the slush. We'll get a couple still shots and uh, put them back. Look at that. This a is just a fish, beautiful man. fish. Yeah, let's put her back in. Nice female rainbow. All right, look at that. Good stuff. What a fish. 
Beautiful fish. Excellent. Down the hole. Okay, now why is that rainbow here when we're going for specks? I guess that's just an there's occasional. A few, there's a few little speckles in this lake, uh -huh. and uh, and more, uh, or a few, a few little, little rainbows, rainbows rather in this lake. Yeah. And uh, we just lucked into a good one. Wow, that was a beautiful fish, you know. And I, I, I must say that uh, Mark here is a fanatic. I mean, he's been fishing for a long time. And you guys met, uh, Paul, like you've been involved in the fishing business now forever. You yes. guys met back in the old days of a retail store called Fishing Buddies when it was open, right? Yeah, I worked there while I was going to graduate school, and Mark and I became the best of friends since then. And uh... So how long ago was that? Almost uh, 20 years. 20 years. Is that 20 years. right? Eh? And so I, you've put up with him that long then? Well, it's, it's um, every month I get a sizable check from his parents. <laughs> oh, I see. So, and, yeah, I understand. And, you know, Bob, it's just, it's just worth it. Yeah, no, it is. Because <laughs> you got to say to yourself, money talks. And uh, it, you enable him to come to these wonderful places. <laughs> Paul's an accomplished tournament uh, angler absolutely. as well. I don't, don't, don't let well, me fool uh, you. Well skilled on his own. Absolutely. Multi-species fisherman. And would you guys quit? getting hits every time i get part way up to the snow bear up there i'm getting a pair of dry socks these guys get a fish on and uh, i'd like to get up there get my job done and get back here so bring bring the food down with you okay maybe i will all right <laughs> we're talking if there's anything left <laughs> well maybe i'll sit up there put the furnace on and have lunch by myself the beauty with, of the snow with bear the, with all my friends Beautiful. <laughs> all right. yeah all right <laughs> <laughs> this is a big fish. That is a fish of a lifetime. <laughs> well, that is just amazing. Look at that thing. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, man. <laughs> that was too cool. Oh, man, what a fish. Look at that. <laughs> yeah.